In this tutorial I will show you how to use JPONX in uh, IntelliJ 2021.3. So that we can download our uh, latest Poison. This is going to be um, Poison 9. For my convenience, I'm going to uh, keep it with this in uh, Java directory. That's going to be C drive, program files, Java. This is where I'm going to keep uh, this additional library. Continue. Okay, this is the location where I have uh, JPONX 9.0.10. Let me create a new JavaFX project. Okay. Uh, I'm using Java um, 17. So let me name it. I'll just say uh, JPONX for the project name and then JDK17 uh, next. Okay, no dependencies. Finish. Okay, this project um, I will not do uh, modular programming, so let me remove uh, module info. Delete, okay. Let's go to project structure here, library. Okay, delete. Okay, we are not using Maven going to use uh, JavaFX SDK where I already downloaded it. It's uh, program files, Java. Second one, JavaFX SDK 17.0.1 library. Okay. So I add the JavaFX SDK library to this project. This time we are going for this is project name. So let me go up under program files, Java. Let me look for JPONX uh, 9.0.10. Okay, so we have um, two libraries. Apply. Okay. Let's open in Sim Builder. So IntelliJ can use uh, JPONX. Now we make sure that uh, we copy the controller. Okay, let me delete. Prepare to use Anchor Paint. So drag and drop. So if you look at here, same builder, you need to use um, library manager, add library, go to C, program files, Java. Okay, here is the library you can add to Intelli, sorry, uh, same builder. We can import it all. Okay, this is how you can uh, import. JPONX library for sim builder. Okay, name start with uh, JFX. Okay, let me just add one button. There is no label, okay? So let's go to control so I can use a label that comes with the uh, JavaFX SDK 17 library. I will just say LBL message. Text value, I will leave it blank. Okay, this is the uh, JPONX button. 
let me go to code yeah, I will say uh, pt and prefix for button. Okay. Okay, one action, this is a uh, event handler. I'm not using that, okay. pt and okay. And then you can change the text value to okay. Okay, before you save, make sure you add the uh, controller back. Save. Okay, let's create a data field for BT and OK. And uh, LBL message. And uh, one event handler. Okay, JFX button, change the private. Change the private. You don't use that anymore. Okay, include welcome text. Delete. We need to use uh, FXML annotation, so let's add it. Okay. So this is the event handler. Let me do a simple one. LBL message. When you uh, click the button and then set text, welcome to JPONX. Let's build the project. Okay, run edit configuration here. We are using uh, JPONX on uh, top of uh, Java FX SDK 17, so you need to use uh, uh, model paths and add models. So, model paths, this is the um, Java FX SDK library. Copy, paste it. Then you can use add modules. I'm using two uh, additional modules, JavaFX controls, then JavaFX FXML. Okay, apply. Okay. So let's run it. So this is a JPONX button. This available uh, animation comes. This is how you can use JPONX in uh, IntelliJ. Thank you. That's all.